Hello guys, I hope Mnani is here. So guys, today let's talk about our Kenyans ambao wamepata wamepatwa na hiyo msiba. Pale deportation center kwa wenye wajui kitu chenye kinaendelea, uh, deportation center ya Sakan, uh, wa Kenya wamefanya ile kitu. So guys, mimi niko na option na kila mtu atashare option yake guys. Hapo kwa hiyo deportation si eti imaanishi kulikuwa na wakenya peke yake right kuna wa Ethiopia wa Filipino wa Bangladesh wa Uganda wa Nigeria so nasikia ni mu Uganda alianzisha moto and guys before we go far allow me to say this prayer prayer moves mountains prayer is the best weapon to fight your battles Guys, le let me just use an example of uh, Zachariah and Elizabeth. Guys, I've, I've heard some of you when you are when I say my America, po muaka, wengine miyazi saba. But I just want to give you an example of Zachariah and uh, Zachariah and Elizabeth. Walikuwa wameomba for so long dio wapewa mtoto. Yani waliomba mpaka wakapita ile kiwa, yani past age they were past age they can't now give a baby So uh, they were not awakuchoka Zakaria al, alipokuwa pale at the temple while praying angel Gabriel appeared to Zakaria and he told him Zakaria uh, Zakaria your wife will conceive but uh, Zakaria when he received uh, that news he said to angel gabriel how how will my wife conceive yet she is past age now pale hata ule angel gabriel akuagi una zakaria lakini aliambia zakaria you know what wait now hautakuwa unaweza kuongea hautaongea mpaka ile siku bibi yako atapata huyo mtoto and that is definitely what happens after a years of struggling praying to get a baby that is what happened guys another story of Sarah and Abraham the same story they were praying for so long to get a baby until past age to come yani a place where they can't give a baby anymore lakini see what happened Abraham she was he was told her, uh, her uh, wife wake ambaye ni Sarah ata conceive are we together and that is exactly what happened and do you know what happened after that imagine unatafuta mtoto for so long after umepata ule Mungu ambaye mwenye alikupea anarudi tena anakuambia i need to sacrifice i need you to sacrifice that only son yani Isaac uni sacrifice and Abraham did not say oh no i can't see you whatever no in fact he traveled for so long three days to go and sacrifice Isaac lakini alipofika pale mali uh, ambapo alikuwa ameaidiwa kumsacrificea aliambiwa na Mungu angalia kando yako unaona nini and uh, alipoangalia sijui ilikuwa kondoa ama ilikuwa mbuzi Aka, akaambia Mungu eh naona nimeona akaambiwa sacrifice hiyo don't sacrifice uh, uh, Isaac was that not a temptation guys i want to tell you something there is a reason as to why umekaa kwa hiyo deportation center for so long. God has a good plans for you. It is even written in uh, Jeremiah 29:11. Plans to not to harm you but to prosper you. Mungu anakujua alikujua pindi tu ulipoingia tumboni mwa mamako. It is in Jeremiah 1:5. Guys, I want to tell you something. Ni Mungu tu Unapoenda mbele za Mungu kumuomba kitu, Mungu anajua ni nini unataka katika maisha yako before hata umwambie. He knows what you want in your life. Kuanzia leo watu wangu. Imagine Mungu peke yake hata wewe. Hata wewe mwenyewe. Hata live alone wewe. Mzazi wako mwenye alikuzaa. 
she or he don't know the number of your hairs zenye ziko kwa kichwa yako but god knows the how many your hair are at your head ni mungu tu anayejua hesabu ya nywele yako huyo mungu tu ndio anayejua kile unataka katika maisha yako unaweza kuwa unamuomba lakini wakati wa kutenda ukifika atatenda it is in isaiah 60 chapter 12 it is says whatever you ask i will it is says i will make it happen when the time is ready it is even mark 11:24 it is says whatever you you shall ask in prayer i shall give you i shall give it to you and it shall be yours with faith in uh, matthew in matthew chapter 7 verse 7 it says knock and i will open for you whatever yani ask ask bread and i will give you bread and not a salmon yani why do you think those verses are used in the bible guys read your bible pray every day prayer solves everything prayer is the best weapon to fight your battles sasa mmechukua uh, inaitwa aje mmechukua nini mikononi mwa mwarabu You have taken your rights from the ants of Arabs. Now what next? Like guys, saa hii wengine wenu mmechoma. Maisha yenu ya kuatarini. Wengine wenu 10 uh, ladies nasikia wamepotea. Aya, some some of you have been arrested. Was that the best way to fight for your rights? Was that the best? Now you have done it mumesaidika unajua kuna vitu zingine yani mtu wako pale anawaambia nyinyi chomeni chomeni mtaenda mkiona mkienda nyumbani haki haki zetu hata hamna adabu si mmeongea hata kiarabu at least tufiche hii white watu wasione kama ni wa Kenya haki haki yetu haki yetu huyu jamaa vile alikuja badala mnyamaze nyinyi mnasema we want to go back to Kenya we want to go back to Kenya hata mngesema mngeongea kiarabu at least watu wasishikanishe kama ni wa Kenya huyu jamaa anaitwa aje sio Juma na sio Ali sijui anaitwa aje ananisahau vile alienda hapo deportation badala wa Kenya wa behave yani at least waonekane wao they were very humble Yaani wako hapo ndio hao. We want home. We want Kenya. We want stay here. Eh hey, guys. Hata mngesema we want to go back to Kenya. Mngesema we want home. And that's all. Ladies, what is wrong with you? The other day niliona mkiambiwa na mtu wako America at hey. Hiyo siku ambieni waiguru wenu hakuna mafi shughuli. Mwambieni waiguru lazima kieleweke. Lazima tukue na demonstration. Ndio hiyo sasa hiyo ndio demonstration mmefanya. Mmesaidika aje mtu wako America um, anaweza washauri aje. Hadi wenye wamehakisha hii moto na wenye wako hapo deportation center na yani tuwaombe they need our prayers. Haijalishi ni wa Kenya, haijalishi ni wa Uganda, but they need our prayers. Wewe mwenye uko gulf uko kwa contract tafadhali stick to your contract kama inawezekana ukiona ni kugumu kabisa save your money yenye unaona inatosha ticket enda kwa ofisi yako waambie wakulipia pesa na hii ticket urudi kwenu Kenya don't cause drama kwa inji ya wenyewe imagine we we came here with a visit visa with a working visa for only two years only two years wacheni ni napenda kupeana hii story ya huyu mwanamke na sijui kwa nini hawakumpea awa, jina walitaja mwanamke kwa biblia mwanamke aliyetokwa na damu miaka kumi na mbili. it's not about six months ama whatever ama one year but miaka 
12 good years mwanamke alitokwa na damu alichukiwa na familia yake marafiki zake mwanadamu alianza mpaka kunuka yani ladies ladies you can understand this but for men it will a bit difficult for them to understand it yani huyo mwanamke alitokwa na damu mia wewe unatokangwa na damu kwa kariva between kako only three days only five days you are done unasema oh nimechoka i padi na nichoma oh my god why huyo mwanamke alitokwa na damu miaka 12 miaka 12 oh my god nimeacha nini kifungua oh miaka ku, sorry miaka 12 lakini alisikia Yesu anapita. Aliposikia kwamba Yesu anapita, alisema sitatuma mtu. Nitajipeleka mimi mwenyewe. Na nitaenda nishike hiyo vasi la Yesu na najua damu yangu itakauka. And that is what happened. Alipofika pale, the crowd wa wa yani ilikuwa imesurroundiwa na wa disciples disciples were the one who were controlling the the crowd so when that um, lady alifika pale alisema sitatuma hawa disciples kwa sababu najua nikiwatuma hawatafikisha ujumbe lakini nitajipeleka mimi mwenyewe nitashika uvindo wa vasi la Yesu na najua damu yangu itakauka na alipoenda pale imagine 12 of good years ukiwa na damu ikitiririka ikitiririka unajua it will be so hard for you to understand alipofika pale alishika upendo wa vasi la Yesu na aliposhika damu yake ilikauka Yesu aliuliza ni nani aliyenishika nimesikia upendo ambao sio wa mshiko ambao sio wa kawaida wa disciples waliulizana ni nani aliyemshika uh, Yesu tuko hapa watu wengi amesurroundiwa na watu wengi ni nani ni nani kila mtu alijiuliza so you can see with faith that lady aliamini kwamba akienda ashike hiyo nguo damu yake itakauka and that is what happened by faith uh, 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 israelites uh, israelites uh, crossed the red sea Yaani maji nakauka maji nakauka wanavuka lakini Egyptian walipokuwa wana, wanajaribu kuvuka maji ilikuja Remember by faith what uh, God did to the walls of Jericho Yaani by faith uh, with the faith na shanga watu wengi wakienda kuombea watu wanaekelewa mikono ati pastor niombe pastor niombe does it mean you you can't pray for yourself and what you have prayed for it can't happen as from today guys nataka ukiombea kitu ukue na imani sio lazima uombe mashakara badara sakara balala la Unana hii maombi ya uh, our father who art in heaven make use of that prayer thank me later siku moja najua utakuja unishukuru hata omba kwa lugha yako omba kwa lugha yenye unaelewa our father who art in heaven hiyo maombi imetosha tu sio lazima uombe masaka barara hapana sio lazima Mungu ni Mungu anayesikia maombi yetu, ni Mungu anayejua mashida yenye tunapitia, anaona kwa siri na atakujibu kwa wazi. Omba, omba utavute uso wa Bwana. Aona ye kwa siri atakujibu kwa wazi. sema ukimtafuta na yeye atakuonekania ukibisha hivi tu atakufungulia jaribu read your bible and practice it and you will thank me later guys one day when i'm in kenya i will sit down and tell you my story some of you i just wonder muna uh, sasa wameshikwa wengine hata hatujui wako wapi what will happen 
what will happen to them unajua hawa ni kama kamilion waarabu ni kama kamilion waarabu ni watu wana asira wanaweza hata kasirika waseme ufungwe yani i can imagine what if kulikuwa na waarabu kwa hiyo hapo ndani na moto ulipuke hivi hapo si hapo ndani kuna magas kuna nini vitu zilipuke waarabu wakufia ndani guys mungefanya nini at least mungeenda mchome embassy there is kenyan embassy in saudi arabia ugandan embassy in saudi arabia bangladesh embassy in saudi arabia deal with those lakini sasa deportation imagine umeenda hapo au na hata pesa wewe ni munyonge unagojea tiketi ya bure unagojea tiketi ya bure unagojea ushughulikiwe there are some people wenye wa, tumekuwa tukiwaona wameshughulikiwa wanafika Kenya they share their story lakini wewe na ukichwa ngumu yako na kusikiza vitu huko nje ulikuja peke yako tafadhali ulikuja peke yako don't listen to what people will tell you ongea na Mungu peke yake talk to your almighty father he will listen ni mungu asikiaye kilio chetu ni mungu ataye ata, anayepanguza machozi yako ya kitiririka hivi ni mungu ambaye huwa anakubariki mbele za maadui zako ai guys subscribe and share and in case you are new to our video guys please we urge you to subscribe share like and don't forget to turn on the notification bell let us know what you think about this video at the comment section for now we are going to say a word of goodbye and let us pray for those kenyans please at least milango ifunguke i understand shetani anawatawala i understand some of things even come from their background wanatumiwa na vitu na watu wao wafanye vitu mbaya juu watu wao wataki wakiendelea those people those things are have been happening have been happening guys fasting praying thanksgiving is all they are methods to fight your enemy to fight your bad battles bye for now guys okay i love you